Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's super important but often overlooked. Recognizing the signs that you're actually doing well financially, even if it doesn't always feel like it, it's easy to get caught up in the comparison game and feel like you're not doing enough. But the truth is, financial success is a journey, not a destination. So in this video, we're going to break down 10 clear signs that you're killing it financially, even if you don't feel like it. Let's get started. Paying your bills on time. First up, let's talk about paying your bills on time. Being able to consistently cover those essential monthly expenses like rent or mortgage payments, utilities, groceries, and even your car payment without breaking a sweat is a bigger deal than you might think. Consistently paying your bills on time means you've got a solid handle on your cash flow. You're earning enough to cover your necessities, and you've got a system in place to manage your money effectively. Plus, consistently paying your bills on time does wonders for your credit score. A good credit score unlocks better interest rates on loans, better credit card offers, and can even make renting an apartment or getting a job easier. It's like a snowball effect of financial responsibility. So if you're consistently paying your bills on time, give yourself a pat on the back. It's a sign that you've got your financial act together and you're building a solid foundation for the future. You're in control of your spending. Next up, let's talk about spending. It's all about being mindful and intentional with your money. Do you track your expenses? Do you have a budget, even a loose one, that helps you allocate your income and avoid overspending? If so, that's a fantastic sign. You're making conscious choices about where your money goes. And that's a key difference between someone who's just getting by and someone who's building real wealth. Another big part of controlling your spending is being able to differentiate between your needs and your wants. If you're able to prioritize your spending, delay gratification and make thoughtful purchasing decisions, you're way ahead of the game. This kind of discipline with your spending is what allows you to free up more money to invest, save, and build a more secure financial future. Remember, it's not about depriving yourself. It's about making smart choices with your money so you can enjoy both the present and the future. You're investing regularly, no matter how small. All right, let's talk about investing. The most important thing is that you're putting your money to work for you, even if it's just a little bit at a time. Are you contributing to a retirement account, even if it's just a small percentage of your paycheck? Are you putting some money into a savings account each month? Maybe you've even dipped your toes into the stock market or real estate. Whatever it is, the fact that you're investing at all is a huge sign that you're thinking long-term and prioritizing your financial future. Investing even with small amounts is like planting seeds for a future forest. The magic of compound interest means that your money earns interest on top of interest, creating a snowball effect that can lead to significant wealth over time. So, if you're investing regularly, even if it's just a small amount, celebrate that. You're taking control of your financial future and setting yourself up for success. Remember, the earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. You've got insurance. Let's be real for a second. Nobody likes to think about bad things happening, especially when it comes to our health, our homes, or our stuff. But here's the thing. Life is unpredictable and sometimes unexpected events happen. That's where insurance comes in. Having adequate insurance, whether it's health insurance, car insurance, renter's insurance, or homeowner's insurance, is like having a safety net for your finances. Having the right insurance coverage can protect you from potentially devastating financial setbacks. Imagine getting into a car accident without car insurance or facing a medical emergency without health insurance. Having insurance gives you peace of mind knowing that if something unexpected happens, you won't be left completely financially ruined. So if you've got insurance and you're keeping up with your premiums, that's a major sign that you're financially responsible and thinking ahead. You don't stress about money that much. Let's be honest. Money can be a major source of stress. But here's the thing. If you find that you're not constantly worrying about money, it's a really good sign that you're doing something right. It's more about having a sense of control over your finances and feeling confident in your ability to manage your money effectively. When you're on top of your finances, you're not constantly bombarded with that nagging feeling of anxiety about bills, debt, or unexpected expenses. You've got a plan, you're sticking to it, and you know that you're taking the right steps to secure your financial future. This peace of mind is invaluable. It allows you to focus on other important aspects of your life, like your relationships, your passions, and your overall well-being. When you have a solid financial foundation, you're better equipped to handle those challenges without letting them completely derail your life. You actually have savings. All right, let's talk about savings. 
Even having a small emergency fund can make a world of difference. An emergency fund is like a financial safety net that can catch you if you fall. It's money that you set aside specifically for unexpected expenses, like a medical bill, a car repair, or even losing your job. Having even a small emergency fund can provide a sense of security and peace of mind that's priceless. Ideally, your emergency fund should cover three to six months worth of living expenses. But even if you're just starting out and can only manage to save a few hundred dollars, that's still a huge accomplishment. The important thing is that you're building the habit of saving and prioritizing your financial security. So, if you have any savings at all, even if it's not as much as you'd like, give yourself credit. You're taking a crucial step towards financial stability and building a buffer against life's unexpected curveballs. Your net worth is growing. Your net worth is simply the difference between your assets, what you own, and your liabilities, what you owe. Assets can include things like your savings, investments, your home if you own it, and even your car. Liabilities include things like student loans, credit card debt, car loans, and mortgages. Tracking your net worth over time is a really good indicator of your overall financial health. If you notice that your net worth is steadily increasing, even if it's just a little bit each month, that's a fantastic sign. It means that you're consistently building wealth, acquiring assets, and potentially paying down debt. It's a sign that you're on the right track and making progress towards your financial goals. Even small, incremental increases in your net worth over time can add up to big results in the long run. So if you're tracking your net worth and you're seeing positive movement, celebrate that. It's a testament to your financial discipline and a clear indicator that you're building a solid financial future. You're managing debt, or better yet, reducing it. Let's face it, debt is a fact of life for many people. Whether it's student loans, credit card debt, or a mortgage, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by debt and like you're drowning in payments. But here's the thing, if you're actively managing your debt and working towards reducing it, you're already ahead of the game. This means you're not just ignoring your debt and hoping it goes away on its own, you're facing it head on, making those payments on time, and potentially even exploring strategies to pay it down faster. Maybe you're using the snowball method, where you focus on paying off your smallest debts first to gain momentum. Or maybe you're tackling your highest interest debt first to save money on interest charges. Whatever strategy you're using, the fact that you're taking control of your debt and not letting it control you is a huge sign of financial responsibility. So if you're making those payments, chipping away at your debt and moving closer to financial freedom, be proud of yourself. You're taking a crucial step towards a brighter financial future. You have a stable income. This one might seem obvious, but it's important to acknowledge. Having a stable income, whether it's from a job, a business, or investments, is the foundation of financial stability. It's what allows you to cover your expenses, save for the future, and build wealth over time. Now I know that not everyone has the privilege of a stable income. Job security can be unpredictable, and many people struggle with inconsistent income or low wages. But if you're fortunate enough to have a consistent stream of income, it's a huge advantage that you should never take for granted. Having a stable income provides a sense of security and allows you to plan for the future with more confidence. So, if you have a stable income, appreciate it and use it wisely. It's a valuable asset that can help you achieve your financial goals and create a more secure future for yourself and your loved ones. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Finally, it's important to remember that building wealth and achieving financial success is a marathon, not a sprint. It's a journey that takes time, patience, and consistent effort. Don't get discouraged if you don't see results overnight or if you compare yourself to others and feel like you're not where you should be. Everyone's financial journey is unique and there's no one-size-fits-all timeline for success. The most important thing is that you're making progress, even if it's just one small step at a time. Celebrate those small victories along the way, like paying off a credit card, getting a raise, or hitting a savings goal. Remember, Financial success is not just about the destination, it's about the journey and the lessons you learn along the way. You're doing great, keep going. So there you have it. 10 signs that you're doing well financially, even if it doesn't always feel like it. Celebrate your progress and keep moving forward. The small steps you take today will compound and lead to big results in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more financial tips and advice. See you next time.